Namaste and welcome, welcome to this Wednesday Chair Yoga Practice. Uh, and this week has been the start of spring. We've had a glorious few days uh, to start spring off. It's a little dull today, but that is the nature of spring. Sometimes it's fiery, sometimes it's windy, sometimes it's wet. So we are going to do a practice based around uh, our spring energy and the spring lines in the body. Um, so I did say to everyone that we were going to start standing up, but we're actually going to start sitting down for some centering first. So apologies for that, girls. Um, so coming to a comfortable place on your seat, I like to have my bottom towards the front edge of the seat so I can sit really tall, but still feel that support on the sitting bones on the chair. Resting the hands wherever you are comfortable doing so and either closing the eyes or gazing gently downward. Spend just a moment to bring your energy into your yoga space. So stepping away from the rest of your day, your week, this year to date, and stepping into this space and this time, wrapping it around you so that you can block out anything that has been on your mind, causing you tension, causing you worry, and arriving into this nurturing space where we practice our yoga together. Take this moment to allow the spine to organize itself upwards, feeling the length in the back of the body, lifting the crown of the head high. Observe the feelings in your body, the sensations that you have. How are you feeling today? And then observing the breath that you're breathing right now without changing it. And then on your next exhalation, gently engaging across the navel to allow a little bit more air out of the lungs as you exhale, breathing deeply into the sides of the body, the chest, the back, and breathing just a little more fully using that engagement, that gentle engagement across the navel. Breathing into the rib cage, the collarbones, the shoulder blades. Breathing out a little more completely. And continuing in this way. Using the lungs to fire up our internal energy, to draw in prana from our environment. Feed that seed of vitality within us. Exhaling anything that no longer serves you, letting go of tension, letting go of discomfort. And then after your next exhalation, just gently drawing your chin towards your chest feeling that length down the back of the neck. A, a smile here will help to release tension from the throat and the top of the chest. And you can roll your ear to one shoulder, chin to chest, and opposite ear to the opposite shoulder, chin to chest. Going from side to side, making alternative neck movements if these ones don't suit you for any reason beginning to explore the connections between the neck, the jaw, the temple, the sides of the head, the shoulders, the chest, the upper back, the sides of the torso. And 
If you'd like to, you can do a little roll of the head all the way around, creating a small circle, not letting the head go backwards, just lifting the chin upwards. And we'll go the opposite way as well, only if you're doing this one. Keeping the mouth closed will encourage a length down the front of the throat into the top of the chest. One more this way. Before meeting back in the center. Springtime is the time when we sow seeds. And so we're going to do that mentally and energetically now. So we're gonna take our hands and just place them over the chest and closing the eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. Thinking about something that you could cultivate in your heart, something that you could sow there to transform or become something else. Uh, perhaps not something else entirely, but an aspect of yourself. So it might be that you sow the seed of kindness, to become a little kinder to yourself or to others. You could sow the seed of contentment to become more accepting of your situation and yourself. You could sow the seed of patience to become more patient, more tolerant of both yourself and those around you. Have a think about what seed you would sow in your heart. And where it might take you on a journey of becoming. Very good. And then resting your arms down to your side, just rolling through the shoulders a little bit. We're going to roll in both directions and then we're going to stand up and do our Kati Chakrasnas. Okay, so when you're ready, bring yourself up to standing, just placing your chair to one side. We will be using it later, but not right now. We're going to take our feet nice and wide apart. And today we're going to start with cactus arms. So elbows wide and palms facing forwards. The idea here is to settle the shoulder blades down the back and leave the arms where they are as we gently twist from side to side. If you can, with a little softness in the knees, trying to uh, resist the urge to move the hips too much. And if it helps, you can keep your head centered as well. I find that helps me not to move my hips as much as if I'm looking in the direction of where I'm going. So we're just doing a little uh, opening twist here. And then allowing your feet to pivot, the hips can become part of the movement. And we're still keeping the shoulders down and the chest open, maybe a little lift across the abdominal muscles. We're going to reach our arms across the body and pull the opposite elbow backwards. So pulling the opposite elbow behind you, lengthening the arm in front of you towards the side of the body. And then from here, we're going to reach high, pulling the opposite elbow down and behind. You don't have to go quickly, you can go more slowly. You can give yourself a little bounce of the knees in the middle as well, if it's helpful for you. And then we're going to come back to the side, pulling the elbow behind, but keeping the arms around about chest height. And then we're going to point down. And this time pulling the elbow up and out. Very good. And we're wakening up the sides of the body. Perhaps you can feel down the sides of the torso. 
into the abdominal muscles, perhaps, across the back of the hips and between the shoulder blades and across the chest too. We're going to finish reaching out to the side for one or two more on each side before we allow the arms to soften and rest. And we'll just take a few slower movements here with the arms really relaxed, the shoulders really relaxed. And just beginning to feel a letting go of that effort that we've made and slowly swaying yourself back to steadiness. When you do, uh, simply turning the palms of the hands forward or towards the body, forward if you can, lengthening through the back of the neck and observing the effect of your practice. Anytime you feel that you need to, you can sigh out through the mouth to let go of anything that's come up. And then shaking out the wrists a little bit, rolling the wrists a little bit too. Okay, brilliant stuff. So we're going to do um, some uh, Tai Chi based exercises now. And this one is one specifically for spring. And we're going to take the feet a little bit wider apart and bend the knees a bit as well. And so if you want to, you can do this sitting down if it, if it feels a little bit more stable to do it sitting down. Or if you would like to bend a little deeper, you can. And you can even take the feet a little bit further apart if that feels comfortable to you. So we're going to just lengthen the legs for now and practice this bending of the knees. The feet are turned outwards if you want to, if that suits your uh, knees. They can turn forwards if you prefer as well. So wherever it's good for you, just bending the knees a little bit. And if it doesn't feel good standing up, simply sitting on the chair, right at the edge, knees, uh, feet wide apart. I'm gonna lengthen the legs. It can be quite tough on the legs to do a lot of this. So one more, bending the knees and then lengthening the legs. And we're going to hold the bent knee position for a little bit of arm action, but while our legs are straight, we're gonna practice the arms. So the arms are going to start with the palms upwards, elbows into the sides, and we're going to make fists here. And then we're going to reach the arms out and make fists, but with the palms turned downwards. So that I, we will punch ahead and turn the palms up and draw the fists back. And then reach forward and back. As we do this, we're rotating through the arms backwards and forwards, palms down, palms up, palms down, palms up. Excellent stuff, guys. Okay. And we're going to do it slowly to begin with, um, and then we will do it more quickly. Okay. So we're going to soften the knees to bend the, bend the uh, weight into the heels, bending the knees a little bit. We're going to start with the palms turned up and the arms by the, the sort of top of the waist. Exhale as you reach forward and inhale, drawing the elbows back, opening the chest. Exhaling forward, nice and slow, inhaling back. Anytime your legs get tired, just stretch them. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. This time, or for the next few, as we just keep going, we're going to do a more forceful exhalation. So we're going to inhale and then <sighs> inhale slowly and then <sighs> inhale slowly. <sighs> inhale slowly. Very good, let's do two more, inhaling slowly. <sighs> inhaling slowly. <sighs> let's do one more, why not? Inhaling slowly. <sighs> and then just relax the arms down, lengthen the legs. And we're going to very gently rock from foot to foot and then step the feet towards each other, okay? 
and relax the arms completely. And that is a big effort. So we want to roll the shoulders a little bit in both directions. And while we're here, we can do a little shoulder opening as well. Um, so soft elbow on the left side, and we're just going to make larger circles with that left elbow. And as you do that, feel the torso moving. There's a side bend, a twist, a little forward bend, a little back bend. Going a little bit bigger if you want to, allowing your head to follow the movement if it feels good for it to do that. Don't get too dizzy, go the opposite way as well. A little firmness in the belly, perhaps a little firmness in the buttocks even. The legs are quite close together here. Not really close, but closer. We'll do two more in this direction. Nice and soft in the elbow, going as slowly as you like. Relaxing this side down, taking an opportunity to just feel the difference between the two sides of the body. And then soft on the left, at right elbow even, doing nice circles. So you can start small, particularly if this is your stiffer side or your side that's less open or more challenged or injured. And when you're ready, you can build up uh, as you develop that sense of space, as we make more expansive movements and perhaps a little bit more in the torso, a little bit more with the head moving as well. We're going to go the opposite way too. And again, you can start small, you can start much slower, a little firmness in the belly and the buttocks. And these movements are fantastic for the sides of the body, which is where we hold um, <clears throat> things to let go of in the springtime. When you're ready, you can rest that arm down to your side. Very good, okay. So um, our next uh, Tai Chi based or energy movement based um, practice is to take your left foot and step it a little bit out to the side on the ball of your foot. And we're going to reach the right arm over to the left and the left arm down towards the left leg. So the right heel is very firmly on the floor, the left foot very firmly on the floor. We're going to press off both legs to move the hips a little to the right side. And we're going to come up to the center and we're going to transfer our weight to the opposite side, left heel down, right toe up, and reach the arms the other way. And pressing into both feet, just reaching the hips a little more to the left, coming up and to the opposite side. So if you want to, you can reach your left hand across the body so that you almost make a circle with the shape of the arms going from one side to the other. Very nice. Very good. So if you want to, you can look down at the foot that you're on the ball of, and that gives a little extra twist to the neck in this position, which helps to uh, further stimulate the energetic lines down the side of the body. But if that makes you feel dizzy, then don't do that. Very good. We'll do two more to each side. So this will be our first one to the right. Very nice. And to the left. And then one more. Just floating up onto the tiptoes, down to the heel of the right foot up onto the tiptoes, down to the heel of the left foot. Very good. And then coming back to the center, just relaxing the arms to the side. Take a moment to feel down the sides of the body. And relax. Excellent stuff, guys. Okay, so we're going to bring our chairs into our practice now to do a little, a little flow that I've been 
trying to adapt for you guys. We've done bits of it and we're going to do bits more of it now. So coming to sitting first and just taking a moment to allow your body to find its um, arrangements, its relationship in space as we come into this new orientation. And then we're going to tiptoe our toes around towards the right and put the, the left leg down. So we want to sit towards the right side of the chair. And if you can here, we want to have the left knee just a little bit further back from the left hip. But you don't have to, but if you can, then that's great. And then here we're going to reach the arms up. We want to press into the feet. So we want both of the legs working down. You can press the back heel away from you, firm in the back buttock of this left leg, firm in the belly. We're going to reach the arms up and sort of look up. And as you exhale, draw the elbows back and open the chest. We might do it the other way around. We might exhale the arms up and then inhale as we draw the elbows back to open the chest. And then we're going to exhale as we reach the arms up, catch hold of the left hand with the right wrist, the left wrist with the right hand, and then exhale, inhale rather, over to the right. So we're doing a side bend here. And then we're going to exhale back to center, separate the hands, inhale, twist to the front or the left side, reaching the arms wide and then come all the way back to the center. We're not gonna bother with the breathing because I've not got that figured out in my head and I don't know why it's disappeared from me, but we're going to do these three actions all together, okay? So pressing into the legs, firm belly, firm buttocks, reach the arms up, imagine you're grasping hold of something and draw the elbows back as you open your chest. Reach the arms up over the head, catch the left wrist with the right hand, and then bend over to the right, soft right elbow, feeling that stretch down the left side of the body. Come back to the center, separate the hands, turn to the left this time, which is the front of your seat, and reach the arms wide. Bring the arms back to the center, we'll do one more time. Reach the hands up as if you were trying to grasp something, Pull the elbows back to open the chest. Reaching the arms up, catch hold of the left wrist with the right hand, bend towards the chair back behind you, right side. Come back to the center, separate the hands, turn to the left or the chair front, reaching the arms wide. Let the arms come all the way down. And when we do this time, we're going to slide that left leg forward to meet the right and we're just going to sit for a moment. So if you want to sit on your chair a little bit more firmly, you can sit for a moment, arms down by the sides, just relaxing. Very good. We're going to tiptoe our feet back to the center and then tiptoe to the other side as well. Um, it's helpful if you've got a slippy chair that you can slide around. If you've got one of those wicker chair seats, then I apologize for that. You'll have to do it in a, in a, a different way. So let's have the left foot on the floor in front of us, the right knee down, maybe if you can, slightly behind the right hip, but if it's just down, that's okay. Okay, so we've got both feet nice and firm and steady on the floor, and we've got to do it four times on this side because I fluffed the first one with the breathing. Not to worry, it's all good. So we're going to reach the arms up in front of us. Imagine we're trying to hold on to something and pull the elbows back as we open the chest. Firm belly, firm buttocks. Reach the arms up again, but more neutral. Catch hold of the left wrist, the right wrist with the left hand rather, and gently bend towards the chair back. Come back to center, separate the hands, turn the opposite way, facing to the front of your seat, reaching the arms wide. Very good. We're going to keep going, twisting back to the front, reaching the arms up, grasping, pulling the elbows wide to open the chest. 
reaching the arms up, neutral back, firm belly, firm buttocks, hold the left uh, ri right wrist with the left hand and bend towards the back of the feet. Come back to the center, separate the hands, reach the arms wide as you twist towards the front of the seat, let the arms come all the way down and round. If you haven't got two more left in you, just doing one more. Same thing, elbows down, opening the chest, reaching the arms up, right wrist with left hand, leaning over to the left, which is the bit behind you. Coming back to the center, reaching the arms wide, twisting towards the right, the front of the seat, and arms down, and one last time if you can. Reach the arms up, pulling the elbows down to open the chest. Reach the arms up, hold the left, uh, right wrist with the left hand, bending to the left, coming back to the center, reaching the arms wide as you open the chest. Very good. And as you come forward, allow that right leg to slide forward. Maybe settle yourself on your chair a little bit so that your feet feel supported on the floor and the pelvis feels supported on both sides. And just take a moment. Very good, awesome source. So we're going to do a very similar thing on the first side again, but with a forward bend and a backward bend. Um, it's a little bit, it's similar, but different, similar, but different. Okay, so coming to the first side, right foot is on the floor. This time we want the left knee down directly from the hip or slightly in front, but not behind, okay? And we're feeling really strong and stable, still got the back toes tucked under, pressing the heel away. We're going to take the left hand and place it on the back, just above the buttocks. And we're going to reach the right hand up. So from here, what you will do is tuck your left elbow behind you a little bit to open that left side of the chest and then reach the right hand back to further open your chest as well. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Press into your feet, deep breath in, deep breath out. We're going to come forward so we're neutral. Relax the arms, slide that left foot back a little bit if you can, and then lean onto the right leg as we straighten that left leg if you can. So we're aiming towards straight, doesn't matter how far towards straight it get, goes, but we're leaning forward on this right thigh. Okay, and we're going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, and then gently come back to upright and we'll do it just one more time. So sliding the left knee right underneath the hip if you can, taking the left hand behind the body to the bottom of the back. So it's supportive of that side of the back. Reaching the right arm up, tuck your left elbow in to open your chest and take your right arm to wherever feels comfortable. So it could just be straight up, that's perfect. Could be a little bit further behind you, firm belly, firm buttocks for a deep breath in, press your feet down, deep breath out. Come back to the center. We're going to release the right arm down, release the left arm forward. Lean forward as we slide the left leg back behind us and take a deep breath in. Try to make a diagonal line from the crown of your head to your left heel, deep breath out. We'll do one more. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good. We're gonna slide that left leg all the way forward turn ourselves into the center. You can pivot with your ballet feet or not and take a moment here in the center to soften any effort. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Very good, let's do the other side. So turning towards the left, we've got the left buttock on the chair, the left thigh is off the chair. And then we're placing that right knee straight down, taking the right hand to the low back. So it offers some support. We're going to tuck that right elbow in, lift the left arm up, and then just take it back to wherever feels comfortable for two deep breaths. Firm belly, firm buttocks, feet pressing down, deep breath in. 
Deep breath out. Maybe one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then we'll relax back to neutral. Drop our left hand down. Bring our right hand forward onto the left thigh as well. Lean forward as we straighten that right leg away from us. Trying to make a nice diagonal line from the top of the head all the way to the heel behind for a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. We'll do it just one more time. Bring yourself to a more neutral position. Point the right knee downwards. Take the right hand behind you to the low back. Reach the left arm up. And then firming, firming the belly, opening the chest. Right elbow tucks in. Press the feet into the floor, which really helps to engage the legs. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Excellent stuff. And then releasing the left hand to the top of the left thigh. Releasing the right hand there too. Leaning slightly forward and stretching the right leg back behind you. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Very good. Bring yourself to a more neutral position. Just allow that right knee to come all the way forward. We're going to swivel on our chairs to sit facing the front and rest the hands for a moment here. Relaxing by exhaling through your mouth if you need to. Excellent stuff. Okay, so don't be too concerned. That is the vast majority of our really hard work done. Um, let's have the feet a little bit wider if you can. And sitting just a little bit further back on the seat if it feels comfortable to you. We're going to turn our fingers in so that the thumbs are on the outside of the um, thighs if possible. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your wrists, by all means, have your hands facing forwards. No problem at all. But if you can, we're going to do this. And then we're simply arching our spine. So we're going to scoop the belly in, drop the chin towards the chest, press away from us, and then inhaling, drawing the elbows back, the shoulders open to lift the chest. Stick your bottom out a bit if you can. Exhaling as you round through the spine, tucking the chin towards the chest, and inhaling forwards. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more. Inhaling. And we're going to finish exhaling. And then releasing our hands and sitting more neutrally. We're going to leave the, the legs where they are and just relax the arms a little bit. Shake out the wrists. Excellent stuff. Now, earlier we did uh, um, a posture like this standing up where we rotated through the arms to draw the fists backwards and forwards. We're going to do a similar thing. We're going to start from here uh, with our palms turned upwards and our hands in fists. And we're going to open the fingers and rotate the hands so that the backs of the hands face each other with our arms overhead or in front of the body. And then rotate through the arms making fists and bringing the hands back to our upper waist or the bottom of our rib cage. So rotating through the arms, reaching the hands up or forward, backs of the hands facing each other, fingers extended, rotating through the arms to draw the fists back to this upper waist position. Rotating through the arms to reach up, rotating through the arms to pull down. This time looking up as well, rotating through the arms, look slightly up and rotating through the arms, head to neutral, arms back in here. Now, if you can go a little quicker, you can. So you up and down and up and down, firm belly. 
Very nice, great rhythm girls. If you can, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in as you reach, breathing out. Breathing in as you reach, breathing out. Two more. And relax, relax the arms, relax the shoulders. You can let your arms swing by your side. You can roll your wrists if you like to. Do whatever feels good. You can do a little uh, gentle sway uh, from side to side if that makes you happy. Thank you, Annette, for joining in with me there. Okay, super stuff. Okay, so we're going to do a similar practice to the one that we did earlier by turning the fingers in, if you can, to your inner thighs, thumbs back behind you. And we're going to lean slightly forward here and then dipping one shoulder towards the center. We're going to look in that direction and come back to the center and then dip the other shoulder and up. So you're looking in the direction of the shoulder that's dipped. If you can. So that's all to do with rotating the neck and stimulating the energetic lines that come down the sides of the body there. And a little from side to side. And hopefully this forward bending also helps to settle any back um, tension from earlier. Scooping the belly in. We'll do one more to each side once we've done this one. One more to the right, one more to the left. And coming back to the center, relaxing the arms. If you feel that in your wrists, which I sometimes do, you can turn the palms upwards and just gently press into the backs of the hands as well. So that is a really nice way to just release any effort in the wrists. And then you can shake out the hands you can bring the backs of the hands together and roll through the wrists as well. This is a nice thing to do too. Very good. And you can go the opposite way as well. And relaxing, maybe just letting the fingers do something wiggly. We're going to draw the feet back towards each other. They don't have to get really, really close, but it's nice if they can get a little bit closer together. And then take our time to do a spinal twist here. So taking the arms nice and wide, sitting really tall, finding that length down the back of the body, taking the left hand across to the right thigh and the right hand reaching behind you. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Feel the lift in the center of the body Scoop the belly a little bit in as well, and then turning your head to wherever feels comfortable on your right, using the leverage of the hands to turn a little further to the right if it feels good to do so. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We'll do two or three more deep breaths if it's possible. If you prefer to release out, that's okay. Maybe just do it one more time. Relax the shoulders, the face, the chin, the jaw. And when you're ready, slowly turning to the front with your head, releasing your hands, unwinding your spine a little to the opposite side and back to the center. In the center, reaching the arms out to the side and round behind you, catch hold of your chair seat, Roll your shoulders open and just lean slightly further away from your chair, like the prow of a ship. You can lift your chin, you can keep your head more neutral if you prefer. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And we're just gently going to bring ourselves back to neutral, relaxing the arms. And then we twist the same thing to the other side. So arms wide as you breathe in, as you breathe out, 
take your left right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind you. Feel that lift through the back of the body, draw the shoulder blades towards each other, turn your head to wherever is comfortable and then using the leverage of the arms to move you into the twist a little more if you want to. A little firmness across the belly perhaps, relaxing the face, maybe closing your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. Shoulders nice and relaxed for three deep breaths. And then when you're ready, turning to the front with just your head, releasing the hands, unwinding the spine, turning a little to the opposite side and back to the center. We're going to sit ourselves a little bit further back onto the seat for a forward bend. And the forward bend, if you like to have space between the knees to bend forward, you can do. If you want to do something more akin to a child's pose, you can keep your knees closer together. And the contact that your belly and your chest makes on your thighs is then going to soften the effort in the back of the body. So when you're ready, you can open your chest as you look up, taking the arms wide. And then as you exhale, hands onto the thighs, sliding forward, draping yourself over your legs. Feel the support of your legs underneath your body and feel like you can really let go of the upper body, particularly the back of the neck, the shoulders, turning the backs of the hands towards the floor if they reach the floor or just simply resting them onto the feet or the shins if they are more comfortable there. Take a couple of deep breaths. When you're ready, press into the feet so you feel the legs activate. Tuck your chin towards your chest, bring your hands up to your knees and then gently coming up to sitting in either a rolling fashion or a pivoting fashion, whichever you prefer. Excellent stuff, guys. So here is where we are going to uh, finish for some relaxation. And we're also going to do a little bit of breathing with our relaxation. So put on your warm clothing, uh, your socks if you want them on your feet, uh, a little scarf I've got here and a jumper, a blanket, whatever support you need for making relaxation awesome at your house. You might want to choose to take your uh, What's it called? Your chair, no, your, your screen to the bedroom or to a sofa. Please excuse me, I've left my block over here. Um, so that you can recline a little further and really relax your back because your back has worked really hard today. Okay. And by working hard, I mean, it will feel awesome. Working hard, but feeling awesome. Wrapping yourself up in your blankets if you've got them and I hope that you're nice and cozy wherever you are. Settle yourself back into your chair seat and this has been quite a dynamic and challenging class so allow yourself this time to really let go of all of that effort to relax into the seat. So we're going to do a, a little sound with our breath, a Brahmari breath, a buzzing bee sound. And then we're going to use that to move into relaxation. So we'll practice Brahmari. And then in that, that sort of stillness that follows Brahmari, we will uh, allow the body to simply rest and enjoy that peace and enjoy that stillness. Um, and then I'll omat you when it's time to come round. So Brahmari, the buzzing bee breath, um, for this, we're going to practice it without the fingers in the ears today because you're all in your own spaces. 
um, and uh, it's also so you can hear the instruction. So you can place your hands into chin mudra if you'd like to, first fingers and thumbs together, other fingers long, palms resting up or down as you choose, and relaxing the shoulders in their sockets as well. Begin by gently closing your eyes and allowing that sense of stillness, rest, the absence of effort, the beginnings of surrender to come through the body. Softening the features of the face, the area around the eyes, the tongue and the jaw. For the practice of our buzzing bee breath, you take the tip of your tongue and place it on the roof of your mouth, anywhere from that place just behind the top teeth to the back of the soft palate. So wherever the tongue is comfortable to rest with the tip against the roof of the mouth. And as you do that, feel your bottom jaw relax slightly. So your teeth fall apart, but your mouth is closed. keeping your tongue in this position only while you feel no tension to do so. We'll begin buzzing on our exhalation. So the mouth stays closed, the teeth are apart, and you take a deep breath in, joining in whenever you're ready. Exhalation only, natural, normal breaths in. If you need to breathe at a different rate, please breathe as normally for you. Don't feel you need to make your sound loud. It can just be a simple buzzing that's close to your body. Mm. Allow each inhalation to fill the space you have to breathe into. And as you exhale, Soften the effort from the scalp on the top of the head, across the forehead, the eyes, the jaw, the shoulders, and allow the whole body to feel heavy into the floor. Mm. Feel the tension melt away from you as you exhale. Mm. Notice how long your breath out is. Mm. Is about five more.
At the end of your next exhalation, keeping your eyes gently closed, relax your tongue and relax your fingers. Observe the effect of your practice, the stillness in your breath, the quietness in your head, in your mind, in your body. Relax any effort that you feel in your jaw, your shoulders and face, and remain here in this quiet space for the rest of your relaxation.
Gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back into your hands and your feet by wiggling your fingers and toes. If you want to, you can roll the feet at the ankles and the hands at the wrists. Please ignore any big popping and clicking you hear at this end. I hope it's not too much at your end. When you feel ready, you can take a deep breath in, stretch the arms, maybe stretch the legs one at a time, or both at a time. Stretch the face and a yawn. Feel that you're able to move in any way that feels useful. And then when you're ready, you can gather your hands in and place them over your heart again. Can you remember the sow that you the sow, the sow that you seeded? The seed that you sowed in your heart at the beginning of the class. Our journey of becoming and transformation isn't about judging ourselves for being not right to begin with or not perfect just the way we are it's more about the addition of something else awesome to the awesomeness that we already have and with that in mind take care to nurture your seed over this spring season and I hope that your becoming, your transformation becomes apparent to you later on this year. Namaste, guys. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.